Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 19th of 2021. Well, it is titled NGC 281 starless with stars. So what do we see here? Well, we see uh, images taken at several different wavelengths and then put together and processed to give us our image that we're looking at. So the original image, which was a visible light image and what is what we call a narrow band image, image looking at just very specific wavelengths of light is the underlying image of the nebula itself. However, from that image, all of the stars were removed. So the stars were taken out, giving us an image of just the nebula. And we've looked at that in the past as a way of being able to study the nebula a little bit better without the distraction of seeing the stars within it at the same time. However, we also have put the stars back in this image using two other wavelengths using uh, data from the Chandra X ray observatory, which looks in the which is in the purplish colored and the red of the Spitzer Space Telescope. So that's in the infrared data. So we're looking at infrared and x-ray in addition to the visible light image which is just the nebula. So we take the take the stars out and then put them back in at other wavelengths. Now one of the important things with studying other wavelengths is that we get to see a different view on the universe. So astronomers for the longest time studied the universe only in visible light. And it wasn't until the 1930s that we first looked at radio astronomy radio waves very long waves. And since then we've then added in and been able to study things like infrared and ultraviolet and the x rays and gamma rays. So looking at things across Across the entire spectrum. And sometimes putting things together and looking at them in different ways like this, looking at different wavelengths, gives us a much more complete picture of the object than looking at it at just one small part of the spectrum. So when we look at it across the, uh, the across the electromagnetic spectrum, we can really learn far more about the different astronomical objects than we could in the past. So essentially, we're looking at all of the object the entirety of what energy it's putting out and not just that little tiny portion that happens to be visible light that is which is what we are used to studying so here we get to see one of those multi wavelength images put together of a star forming region here that shows the new cluster of stars now forming at the center that we can see in great detail in using the infrared and x-ray observations as well as the visible. So that was our picture of the day for November 19th of 2021. It was titled NGC 281 starless with stars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.